I'm clear that this is a very grave decision to take military action that the House of Commons would be making. And I didn't think that that decision should be made on an artificial timetable when the House of Commons wouldn't even have seen the evidence today from the United Nations weapons inspectors. I'm determined we learn the lessons of the past, including Iraq. And we can't have the House of Commons being asked to write a blank cheque to the Prime Minister for military action. But on Tuesday you were publicly backing the government and then you asked for more time. What changed? I've been very clear and consistent since Tuesday that there are three criteria that would need to be met for action to be undertaken. First of all, the rule of law needs to be followed, including the United Nations processes. Secondly, that any action must have clear and achievable military objectives. And third, that any action must be specifically limited to deterring the future use of chemical weapons. And that's the position we've taken. I think it's the right position. and I think it's the, British, the position the British people would expect us to take. But this is such an important decision and it's got to be done, if it is done, in the right way. Did Labour's position on Iraq interfere with this motion? I don't think that's the case. I think what is the case is we've got to learn the lessons of Iraq because people remember the mistakes that were made uh, in Iraq and I'm not willing to have those mistakes made again. Uh, and one of the most important lessons from Iraq is about giving the United Nations, uh, which is the body that we are part of, the proper chance to do its work. Uh, and I believe that if we tried to make that decision today on military action, we wouldn't have been giving the United Nations the proper time to do that work. That's why I think it's the right thing to do to put forward Labour's amendment. And is your party simply against military action? No, because we've said that the chemical weapons attack, uh, which has been uh, suspected, that took place in Syria, killing innocent civilians, uh, is a terrible atrocity, and it can't simply be ignored. But if we are to undertake military action, then certain conditions would have to be met. And what our amendment does today is it lays out a roadmap to a decision for Britain on the conditions that would have to be met, like the legal processes having been followed, including at the United Nations. There being compelling evidence that President Assad was responsible for the, for the action that uh, took place, uh, that there are specific and achievable military objectives, uh, and indeed uh, that it's designed to deter the future use of chemical weapons. I think they're the right conditions uh, that should be met uh, if military action is undertaken. So which way will you be advising your party to vote today? I'll be advising my party to vote for our amendment. And did you think that there's any point in recalling Parliament today for this motion? I think it's right that Parliament should discuss an issue of this importance and this gravity, given what is happening internationally and given the actions being contemplated.